Hey everyone, I wanted to shoot a quick video and there's a pretty common pest, uh, actually a couple of them, uh, that we see uh, that tend to start damaging the lawn around this time. And uh, those pests are, uh, one of them's army worms and one of them are sod web worms. Uh, they're very similar, they're a caterpillar, uh, you know, they're a larva, they're a caterpillar, and they feed on the grass. And you commonly see them around August or September. Uh, towards the end of the summer and some of the telltale signs are you'll start seeing areas of your grass like this you can see most of the grass is nice and lush uh, nice and green and then you see these brown patches and when you get closer it almost looks like somebody mowed uh, mowed your grass very low like they scalped it to the ground and what that is is that's these uh these army worms or sod web worms uh, they're eating the blades of grass and they pretty much eat it right down to the to the stolen, to the roots and the stolen. Uh, they, for whatever reason, they don't they don't eat these runners, these stolen, uh, but I guess they just like the blades of grass. Um, but there's several ways to, de to detect, uh, you know, that that's what, what's going on. Um, one of them, a simple way, is that you'll be walking through the grass, uh, some of the healthy areas that haven't been affected, and you'll notice that little moths are flying around everywhere. You know, and that's what, you know, that's what these, uh, eventually turn into as moths, but you'll be walking through the grass and you'll see little, you know, half inch or so moths uh, scattering everywhere. Um, another sign is, you you know, when you look closer to these areas, you'll see where it's obvious that something's been eating on the blades of grass. So you can see right here, you know, you can just see where, where something's been eaten on this grass and it's pretty obvious. Um, but anyways, you know, there's more things you can do to investigate. You can dig down below the, the thatch and you'll be able to actually see uh, some of these web worms. Uh, you know, they're, they're curled up usually in a C shape. Um, they're usually about half inch or so long, uh, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but very common this time of year. And they can devour a lawn very quickly. Uh, this customer, we were just here last week. Uh, or maybe, maybe about two weeks ago and uh, you know the the, the web worms have done this much damage uh, in this short amount of time You can see that they're working their way towards the front yard, which is still nice and green and lush um, And there's going to be spots up here where they're already starting to to eat the grass as well um, So they're pretty easy to kill uh, You know we're out here treating it today uh, spraying them with a product called bifenthrin. Uh, you can actually buy that yourself at most stores, at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, you know, most uh, most places where you can buy these kind of kind of products for your lawn. Um, and that'll that'll wipe them out. A lot of times, it will take two uh, treatments, though, uh, just because of the life cycle of these, uh, because those moths are flying around right now, and they're depositing eggs that hatch into the larva, and then the larva, you know, start the whole process with eating the grass again. Um, but I just wanted to show you that. It's a very common right now. Uh, most of the time, it won't kill the grass. You know, most of the time, it'll recover just fine. Like, we'll treat this, and the grass will grow back out because they didn't damage the roots or the stolen. Um, but if you let it go on for a long time, or if you have new sod, which is what these things particularly like, and where I see 90% of the, of the cases of these infestations is new sod. Uh, for whatever reason, they just particularly like to eat new sod. Um, but they can wipe out new sod pretty quickly. Um, but for the most part, as long as you get them treated rather quickly, uh, your grass will be fine. It'll recover. And like I said, you might need uh, one to two treatments, uh, you know, to be able to get rid of them. And you might have a problem with them coming back a little bit next year just because, of, like I said, some of those eggs are already deposited. Um, but this is Michael with Quiet Lawn. If you have any questions or if you're seeing anything like this in your own lawn, please let us know and we'd be happy to help you out with it.